it's Scala. So today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to stay motivated. But first I just want to ask a cheeky favour of a few guys. I actually entered the Kukuro workout, which some of you guys have done and love, into a competition. And I was just wondering if you guys could go over to the video and comment and like the video and just show me some love. The link to the video will be down below in the description box. Please, please, please go and comment and like it just to show me some love and support me in the competition, especially if you've been enjoying the Kukuro workout. Out. Anyway, so today I'm going to be giving you guys some tips on how to stay motivated. I've actually done this video before, but I thought I'd do a updated, more fresh one with new ideas and tips and stuff like that. So a lot of people might think that I'm just super motivated like 100% of the time and I'm always like, yeah, I'm ready, kick the world. And I nearly fell backwards. <laughs> But actually, I have to keep myself motivated. I have to use different stuff to just keep me motivated, to keep my head in the game. You gotta, you gotta get, 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 get your head in the game. Gotta. High school musical. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys some of the tips and ways that I just used to keep myself motivated. Pow. Okay guys, so my first tip is to create a mood board. A mood board is really great to just inspire you and get you in the mood for a healthy lifestyle. I used to just go through magazines and cut out my favourite positive and healthy pictures that I thought would inspire me and motivate me to be healthier. This is so much fun to do, you don't even have to make it about fitness or health, you can make it for any other goals that you have in your life. So in the middle of my mood board, I decided to write my favorite quote, which is be better than you were yesterday. And I absolutely love this quote just because it's not about comparing yourself to anybody else. You are your own competition and you are the only person that can stop yourself from achieving anything you want. So as soon as you realize that, you realize that you can do anything you want to. And I love, love that message. Okay, so my next tip is to write out your goals. You need to know what you're striving towards and you need to remember this every single day because if you remember those goals, you're more likely to stick to the healthy lifestyle. So I would stick my list up anywhere that I was most likely to see it. So maybe in front of my mirror or in my closet door or wardrobe door. And that just really helped to keep me motivated and keep on track. So these are my current goals. I couldn't think of anything better, so this is what I came up with. So my next tip is to help you be more positive in front of the mirror. I know for me, I used to be very negative in front of the mirror to the point where I used to actually cry. And I just found writing little lovely notes like this used to help me get through it. You can write anything you want, like you're beautiful, you're lovely, you're wonderful, and that will help you get through the day and remember that Beauty has no size or shape and you are all beautiful, so little quotes on the mirror used to really help me. Okay, so my next tip is to do with the good old technology and I don't know about you guys but I find it so hard to pull myself away from the internet so I like to write up little notes like these to put up on the wall and keep me motivated. Please excuse my current room, it's very 10 year old-esque, I am going to be redecorating very soon get so carried away on Tumblr and Twitter and you know it's just it's just very difficult so if I have these notes right above where I sit I look at it and I can't stop reading it and I'm like okay I have to go work out now now on to your phones I personally have Kelly Rowland as my lock screen just because I find her really motivational but you can put anything else you want to keep you motivated or you can have something that will force you to work out like this horrible little like spider diagram thing that's like you have to go and work out. Also I don't know about you guys but I love looking through fitness Instagrams and I actually got featured on this one which is really awesome and it was really exciting and yeah thank you so much I will put that Instagram in the description below and my Instagram is Scholadondo and I like to post food pictures and stuff like that and yeah it's just a really good time. 
You can also look online for inspiration and fitspiration. One of my friends actually had my before and after as their lock screen, which I thought was so lovely of them. Um, but guys, remember not to compare yourself to these people. It's lovely to look at inspirational pictures, but remember, you'll never look like those people, but you will look the best that you possibly can. Just use them for inspiration. Anyway guys, I hope those tips helped you. If you actually use any of the tips and you actually try out any of those things, make sure you tell me or comment below if you're going to try any of them or like uh, tweet me or Instagram a picture and show me if you actually try them or if you have any ideas of your own to keep yourself motivated, make sure you comment and share it with everybody else uh, so we can all see ways to keep ourselves in the game because it is hard. It is hard to keep yourself motivated and just Sometimes you just want to sit there and be like, I'm going to eat this whole cake by myself and live this life for the rest of my life. And you're like, no, we're about the healthy lifestyle. We have to keep our heads in the game. Why do I keep saying that? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Bye.